Hello, and thanks for tuning in to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, hey y'all. So today, guys, I wanted to do this comparison. Now, for those of you who have the old town tote, then you guys know this was a nice, sturdy bag. Why they went and went to the cheaper version, <laughs> the city tote, I don't know. I do like the fact that they added the leather trim across it, but it's so flimsy. So guys, look. Look at that. Look, 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 look at this. Same force, and then look at the bag. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and compare this bag. Well, these two bags, shall I say. The quality of the town tote versus the city tote is, is too different. It's like, I can't, <laughs> you will have to have this bag. Like, do you hear this? Look, it is hard to push this bag in. Look at that. Like, this one isn't budging. So, first things first. This bag is very sturdy. Like, you can see how this thing comes out on the side of the bag a lot thicker than this one. Like, I can even fold this bag. I, I can't hardly bend this bag. It is, like, giving me pushback. Now, the inside, you still have the same... Let me move this over. You still have the same pocket, same depth, same width, but let me take this stuff out of here. Anywho, let's go down in the bag. Can you see these things here? See how this overlaps? Very, very sturdy compared to this side. It's really, it overlaps, but the thickness of the bag isn't there. This bag, I can like ball it up in a knot. There is no, I can't even hardly get this bag to fold. As far as the straps, you have the same quality for the most part. This one is a little thicker than this one though. And they hold the same amount of stuff. If I'm not mistaken, I wanna say the city tote might be a little bit bigger than the town tote. But when the town tote came out, I do know it was the biggest of all the totes. So let's see when it comes to the width. If I had to say it, I would say that this, hmm. I'm trying to see. I think the town tote is a little smaller. Okay, so as far as what they hold, they both hold the same amount of stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you that they both can hold the laptop sleeve, whether you have the Apple one or you have the back to brighter one, will definitely fit in there. And you do still have a little room on this side. Yeah. All right, and they both still have that amazing magnetic clip, so they didn't take that away. And then sometimes you need two hands to get this open. So as you can see, this bag won't even stay open. And if you have something in this pocket, it's going to weigh it down. So let me show you. So like, look at that, how it... Look at it. But it's still almost the same price as the town tote was. Now let's let's try this with this one. This bag, this town tote is so sturdy. It's barely gonna fold. And it's just really trying to clamps for the most part. But that city tote, that stuff gave way. All right, so let me get the stuff out of here and show you guys that the laptop sleeve will fit perfectly. And in there, I just have my, uh, my little Nolita my wristlet, my wallet. All right, so let's go and put that in there. If the bag would stay up, it would be perfect. So that is that. So as you can see, the, um, the sleeve will fit. And then as you can see on the inside, they did make this a little different. I know the back, my bag is dirty, y'all. I was carrying this mug for like two weeks. It shocks me that I carried it for two weeks. But at least it's allowing you to see down in the bag. So as you can see, 
you just have these little half circles like right in there versus the town tote which has those um little pieces like you can literally pinch this and it's rectangular shaped you know there are no little half circles at the bottom of this bag so the insides are very different the um the canvas on this is very different it's it's kind of like this will be your vintage louis vuitton <laughs> canvas and this would be the new canvas like no lot like for real for real this is how the vintage bags were they were sturdy this is the canvas on the new bags like i bought a never full not a never full my speedy 35 the canvas on my speedy 35 that i got a few months ago is just like this like you can ball the bag up and just like you know look at look at this like you not you should not be able to do this with no purse this is how cheap this canvas is moving right back along to this yeah this one is like <laughs> You can try really hard, but I ain't folding. You know, it's, it's gonna work at folding me, but he, you can't ball this up. Like this is not gonna ball up. So I do miss how they made these totes. They were very structured. If only they could have left the thickness and put that little leather trim here, they wouldn't have had to come out with the city tote. It could have just been the town tote, you know, just improved with the leather lining around it but because they added that leather and they decided to change the canvas they just changed the whole name of the bag so if you guys are able to get your hands on a town tote when town totes were out um like last year year before last i want to say i don't even know y'all my timing is off but i know at least like 2019 i want to say town totes were out 2020 early 2020 but now here in 2021 this is what you got you got this don't get me wrong y'all it's cute i want another one but i'm like i don't know if i need another one. <laughs> but anywho guys that is all i have to say i compared these totes for you guys oh and look at how big this coach symbol is like let me take some of this lighting off look how big that is show you guys it's side by side compared to I'm trying to move this stuff out the way hmm let me see let me see if I can get it to play right hmm alright you should be able to tell like this look how big the coach on this one is compared to this one so small both still have coach on the inside of course i'm gonna go ahead and stand this one up though and even on the inside the coach is big i do like the detail of the gold rivets on this one versus this one there is no gold rivets and i've only had this bag not even a month but you guys can almost see the wear on the um on the straps. Like you see where it's bending. So when I store it, I try it won't even stay up. Like, come on, bag. This is not to just hurt anybody from buying this tote. Because as you see, I said I wanted another one. <laughs> but anywho, um, I store it like this. I just make my straps lay like that because when they lay this way, they tend to bend out a lot. So if you kind of do it like that, it will preserve the life of the straps a little longer. So even at the bottom, you can see the bottom was like, it looks to me like a different piece. And matter of fact, I want to say it is a different piece that they added on, which is why you have that thick piece right here. Let me see if I can get closer for y'all. You see how thick that is? I can push it down. So this is a different piece. Whereas with this one, it looks as if they tried to just do one full canvas. Kind of like uh, Louis Vuitton does. I want to say that's just one canvas. It's so flimsy. I can't even make it stay up. So this looks like it's just one canvas. But it is so thin. <laughs> so thin. Oh my goodness. But anywho, guys. 
those are the major differences in between the town tote and the city tote. So if you missed out on this town tote and you wasn't on the outlet train at that point, you missed out on a decent quality structured, oh my God, so structured bag. But anywho, that is that. I do love how they added this and it is so thick, y'all. Like this is, if you ain't know no better, you just swore this was go. <laughs> But it's very, very, very good quality metal. Look how thick that is. But you guys, this is this. Um, I do know you might still be able to find town totes on the those sites like Mercari, um, eBay, things of that nature. And guys, these mugs, when I tell you, they feel like they can withstand a tough to time. That will be the end of that. And I do have to give a special, special shout out. Gotta give a special shout out. I'm gonna just start calling her my boo. I know her name is Fly Boo, but I'm just about to start calling her my boo because when she went and got these for me, she let me know she was my boo. Not only did she give me one, she got me two. The other one is on my vintage coach. But she did take time out of her day to pick them up for me and I had no problem quick paying her that money quick fast and in a hurry do you hear me when she said she saw them I was like please get them for me thank you so much so once I clean up my little bag and get it shiny like this even though this ain't real leather I can't wait I, I haven't worn this bag since I got the pouch but I do plan on wearing it soon now guys I want to let you know though because I had to get new tags for this this is not the original tag so with that being said guys i'm gonna go ahead and conclude this video throw this junk back in these bags <laughs> because i am done filming this video that goes over there this is in there and this is in there oh and i do have the um this is how i know they don't fit i have the coach picture frame uh bag charm where it's at right now i couldn't tell you i gotta look for it but it don't fit on here either. <laughs> now, maybe bags like my Marley tote, it might fit, but it's definitely not fitting on this one. But anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this comparison. I'm so don't forget to hit that like button. Also, feel free to leave me a comment asking me any questions about either one of these bags that you want to know about. I do not mind replying. I enjoy replying to you guys' comments. So <laughs> go ahead, feel free. Comment, like, subscribe. Bye, y'all.